in this section i am going to give you some understanding about some basic commands uh, and some tools and functionality where i will be using while doing these videos uh, so i wish if you follow this very closely you won't get complicated about the things i do during the uh, videos we are looking at in the upcoming sections so one thing is i hope you have basic understanding about autocad mostly civil 3d is based on autocad so all the basic civil 3d works are related to the basic autocad works like copying pasting creating objects everything apart from that civil 3d have more advanced features so i want to make sure that you know about uh, object snapping so like if you have turn ob on object snapping and if you are going to create a polyline for example so if you have turn on object snapping and if you have snap to endpoint and midpoint i will remove these sections endpoint and midpoint so it will automatically snap to the end of the polyline when you are going to create a new one it will snap to the center or actually middle of the polyline and the other end. if you want to create create a new polyline from the middle of this polyline you can create from here easily so you can turn on off all the features so if you completely turn off object snap you can use this one if you want to turn on again you can click here so while in the command also you can turn on off these features then these are the auto polar tracking we will not be using much of this here and another uh, thing i have to told, tell you is the uh, dynamic input so if you type something on the command line it will type on the command line so if your dynamic is input is on whatever the things you type will be typed at the cursor location so to turn on dynamic input you have to press f12 on your keyboard f12 so if f12 is pressed so make sure that in some of your laptops to press f12 you need to press the function key as well so make sure you are using the proper keys to turn on the f12 functionality or the dynamic input functionality so now i have already pressed f12 on my keyboard so i'm typing polyline again now you can see the polyline or the command is typing at my cursor location so sometimes if you will be if you might be sometimes you might be get confused when the things typing at these locations you don't know how to uh, turn off or uh, avoid that kind of error so avoid that kind of problem so first of all you need to get understanding about these things so if i press k pen press f12 again now it will be turn off the dynamic input now it will be typing at the command line so uh, that is one of the things you have to have in your memory dynamic input and the other main thing i have to tell you is the selection cycling so if i go to here you will see i am selecting one line so there's a command called selection cycling in civil 3d and autocad as well so if you type this selection cycling and command now the current value is 2 minus 2 actually i'll set it to plus 2 plus 2 once you set it to plus two, there's a comma uh, icon appearing here. Sometimes this icon may be here or may not be here, depending on the version. So actually not depending on the version, it depends on the view setup. So if you want to turn on and off these things, you can use these things here. So selection cycling is currently turned on here. That is why it is uh, showing here. So if I click here, it will be unchecked and it won't be shown here so i can show it here to make sure it is turned on so once you select the value to 2 you will see once you place the mouse cursor here you can see if you click here you can see there are two polylines here there are two polylines here so having selection cycling on make you better weaving of the overlapping objects sometimes in my work i'll be selecting the objects using this uh, selection cycling command so you have to make sure that you know 
that so those are the basic things you need to know at this point before uh, moving forward and apart from that i think you have some basic understanding about the autocad commands and functionality before uh, starting work in civil 3d